Hey guys, hey, we're going to try a green screen at the back. Uh, then what I can do is, uh, when I'm talking about something, is I can move myself over to the side, and then I can put video or uh, pictures or whatever up on the background there so you can see them. So today's topic, guys, is uh, diesel heaters. Uh, you got to keep warm. It's getting cold. So diesel heaters. And especially the E3 air code that you'll probably encounter at one point in time. Uh, E3 means that your glow plug, one of these things, is uh, not working. It's shot. This is my old one. It comes with, a new, the new ones come with this little cover to keep, to protect the uh, ceramic end. This one is cracked. I don't know if you can see that. But it's, it's broken, cracked there. So sometimes they explode, I've seen on YouTube. Um, so you have to replace this. It's the E3 error code. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, why they would crack I don't know why they would crack originally um, the first time it was not made correctly inferior made uh, it was old age whatever it gave out so you go to replace the new one now you can order these on Amazon I'll set a link below to my Amazon account. And uh, please, if you're going to make any uh, purchases or orders through Amazon, any of these items, parts, check out my links below and it'll take you right to the, the, the diesel heater themselves, the glow plugs, the, the screens, whatever. And I do make a small commission from anything that you do buy from Amazon by checking the link below. So the new one comes with the little cover and uh, when you go to put them in there's a screen on the inside uh, a vaporizer screen or an iod iod uh, ionizer type screen that this goes into don't touch that screen when you're putting it in um, that could cause the next one to go um, the screen in my opinion should be replaced at the same time you replace this because the screen potentially could get clogged with fuel and soot therefore uh, not allowing the glow plug to light correctly uh, to light evenly and correctly so I would if I'm going to replace the glow plug I would replace the screen that this fits into also now the, putting this in taking it in and out could be difficult because the wires you can't get a wrench in the hole that it fits in and uh, you can't get a socket on here because of the wires. So you can purchase a special socket from Amazon uh, that will fit this, or you can just simply buy a, a long 12 millimeter socket, cut a slot in one side that just fits over the wires. You're good to go. Okay. Uh, I found on Amazon that you can purchase two glow plugs for $18 when I got them last time. I see that there's something like uh, $20 a piece now. You can still get them cheaper if you check out a few other uh, guys on Amazon. Um, so I'll put links for the glow plugs, the screens, um, the electronics, um, the, the diesel heaters themselves. I'll put links for that below in the description so that you can click on it, go to the Amazon account, check out the, the uh, supplies there, and please, by all means, make your purchases on, on there. I do make a small commission from, from your purchases. Um, people are asking about electric, electricity. How much, how much does it uh, consume? Okay, when you push the button, you start it, it's, the glow plug comes on, the fan comes on that's when you're gonna really start uh, seeing the amperage it's gonna draw somewhere like 9 10 11 12 amps that's pretty high but it's only for a minute possibly two until it gets 
nice and hot in there then the glow plug goes out um, and it just uh, burns then it goes down while it's while the glow plugs out it's down to about 0.5 amps per hour after that it's it's nothing it's very minimal and then when you turn it off or when it goes off uh, the glow plug comes back on again for a minute or two so back up to 9 amps 10 amps again but all in all very minimal power I don't usually worry about power at all for running the heater um, fuel consumption how much does it burn well there is a mathematical formula you can figure out exactly how much this thing is going to burn the reason you can do that is because the pump the pump pumps a specified amount of specific amount of fuel every pump and it is 0 0.02 milliliters of fuel per pump don't ask me how I know that I, I read it somewhere I saw it somewhere and I, I took the guy's word for it 0 0.02 it's about smaller than the size of a pea so let's just say for example you set your diesel heater to have two pumps per second so that's 0 0.04 milliliters of fuel per second times 60 gives you per minute times 60 gives you per hour and I think if you do the math on two uh, milliliters of fuel or two milliliters of fuel per pump at two pumps per second it comes out to 144 milliliters of fuel per hour that's just over a third of a can of coca-cola not very much at all so in three hours you've burned a can of coca-cola all right so now you know exactly how much fuel you're gonna burn per hour uh, you know how much electricity it's gonna take for the amount of time that it's on and now there's just a question of um, oh there's install install is very very easy also uh, two holes you have to drill about the size if you're from Canada the size of a loony or a toony those are a dollar and two dollar coins um, the size of a, of a one dollar coin two of those in the floor somewhere it's under my bed you think under your bed that's gonna be too noisy when it's running full speed full blast I hear the fat the the air coming out of the tube um, not so much the fan it's the air coming out of the end of the tube the hot air uh, I don't hear the pump unless I actually listen for it and it's under the bed also by my feet and the diesel heater is under the bed by my head end the pump I have hanging from the metal frame of the bed it's hanging vertical not at a 90 or 45 degree angle and not horizontal they say in the book don't put it horizontal they say at a 45 um, now the reason they want it at that angle is because of cavitation uh, so if you can hang it by something elastic or cover it with something so that it's less noise if it's too noisy for you mine is so quiet that if you say do you have a pump and then I have to listen very and then I can maybe hear then I can hear pump 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 but other than that nothing and and then the fan once it gets to temperature and it slows down I don't even hear the fan so I don't hear it at all it's just warm so that's it guys for today the diesel heater and the e3 air why you're getting it and how to repair it thanks guys for watching